What is fire? And how much money do you really need? Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the different types of fire, or financial independence. Retire early. It's a concept that's really grown in popularity, especially with millennials. And it's all about taking control of your finances so you can design your ideal life. We'll break down each type of fire, explore how much money you need to have invested, and how your current income plays a role. Let's get started. So first up, we have Lean Fire. This is for those of you who value experiences over material possessions and are willing to live a pretty minimalist lifestyle to achieve financial freedom as quickly as possible. We're talking about cutting expenses down to the bare minimum, smaller living spaces, cooking at home instead of eating out, and finding creative ways to enjoy free or low-cost entertainment. Now the big question is, how much money do you actually need to achieve Lean Fire? Well, it depends on your annual expenses. The general rule of thumb is the 4% rule, which means you can safely withdraw 4% of your portfolio each year without running out of money in retirement. But with Lean Fire, you're often aiming for an even lower withdrawal rate, like 3% or even less to be extra cautious. Let's say you manage to live comfortably on $20,000 a year. Using the 3% rule, you would need $666,667 invested to cover your expenses. That might sound like a lot, but remember, the less you spend, the less you need to save. And the beauty of Lean Fire is that it can significantly shorten the time it takes to reach financial independence. Think of it this way, by embracing a frugal lifestyle you're essentially buying back your time. You're freeing yourself from the need to work a traditional 9 to 5 job, giving you the flexibility to pursue your passions, travel or simply enjoy life at your own pace. Of course, Lean Fire isn't for everyone. It requires a high level of discipline and a willingness to make sacrifices. But if you're someone who values freedom and simplicity, it can be an incredibly rewarding path to financial independence. Next, let's talk about Barista Fire, a more flexible approach to early retirement. With Barista Fire, you're not necessarily aiming to quit your job entirely. Instead, you're building up enough savings to cover most of your expenses, giving you the freedom to pursue part-time work, freelance gigs, or passion projects that bring you joy. Think of it as semi-retirement, you're still generating some income, but it's on your terms. Maybe you pick up a few shifts at a coffee shop, hence the name Barista Fire, or maybe you turn your side hustle into a part-time gig. The point is you're not relying on your investments alone to cover all your expenses, which can take a lot of pressure off your portfolio, especially in the early years of early retirement. So, how much money do you need for Barista Fire? Again, it depends on your spending habits and how much you plan to earn from your part-time endeavors. Let's say your annual expenses are $40,000, and you want to supplement your income with $20,000 per year from part-time work. That means you need your investments to generate the remaining $20,000. Using the 3% rule, you would need $666,667 invested to cover that $20,000 gap. Now you might be thinking, wait, that's the same amount as Lean Fire. And you're right, but the difference is the lifestyle. With Barista Fire, you have more wiggle room in your budget. You can enjoy some of life's little luxuries without stressing about every penny. The beauty of Barista Fire is its flexibility. It allows you to transition into early retirement gradually, test out different work arrangements, and find a balance that suits your personality and lifestyle. It's a great option for those who enjoy working but want more control over their time and energy. Chapter 3, Coast Fire, The Power of Compounding Now let's talk about Coast Fire, a strategy that leverages the power of compound growth to help you reach financial independence sooner. With Coast Fire, you're essentially front-loading your savings, aggressively investing early in your career to build a substantial nest egg. Once your investments reach a certain level, you can significantly reduce or even stop contributing altogether, allowing your money to grow through the magic of compounding. Here's how it works. Let's say you're 30 years old and want to retire at 50. You've been diligently saving and investing, and you've managed to accumulate a portfolio of $500,000. At a 7% average annual return, your investments are projected to double every 10 years. That means by the time you're 40, your portfolio could potentially grow to $1 million, and by 50, it could reach $2 million, even without making any additional contributions. Of course, this is just a simplified example. 
and market returns are never guaranteed, but it illustrates the power of compounding. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow exponentially. With Coast Fire, you're essentially putting your money to work for you, allowing it to generate passive income and grow your wealth over time. Now, you might be wondering what do I do during the coasting phase, well that's up to you. You could continue working full time but with less pressure to climb the corporate ladder. You could transition to a less demanding job, focus on your passions, or even take a sabbatical to travel the world. The point is, you have options. Coast Fire is an excellent strategy for those who start investing early and want to take advantage of compound growth. It allows you to reach financial independence sooner giving you more flexibility and control over your life. Chapter 4. Traditional Fire – Retiring in Style Let's talk about traditional fire, the path to early retirement where you aim to maintain your current lifestyle without having to work. This is what most people envision when they hear the term, fire. It's about achieving financial freedom while still enjoying the things you love, whether it's dining out, traveling, or pursuing hobbies. The key to traditional fire is to accurately estimate your annual expenses and build a portfolio large enough to generate enough passive income to cover those expenses indefinitely. This typically involves investing in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, and other assets that align with your risk tolerance and time horizon. Now, let's talk numbers. The 4% rule, which we mentioned earlier, is a good starting point for traditional fire. This rule suggests that you can safely withdraw 4% of your portfolio each year in retirement without running out of money. However, some fire enthusiasts prefer to use a more conservative withdrawal rate, like 3% or even 2.5%, to account for potential market downturns or unexpected expenses. Let's say your current annual expenses are $60,000, and you want to maintain that lifestyle in retirement. Using the 4% rule, you would need a portfolio of $1.5 million to generate $60,000 in annual income. Of course, this is just a general guideline and your specific financial situation may vary. Achieving traditional FIRE often requires a combination of factors, including a high savings rate, consistent investing, and a bit of frugality. It's about finding a balance between enjoying life today and planning for a comfortable and financially secure future. Chapter 5. Fat FIRE – Living Your Best Life Last but certainly not least, we have fat fire, the most luxurious and aspirational form of fire. This is for those who dream of living life to the fullest, indulging in extravagant experiences and not having to worry about money at all. We're talking about first-class travel, lavish vacations, and the freedom to pursue any passion without financial constraints. Fat fire requires a significantly larger nest egg compared to other forms of fire. It's not about simply replacing your current income. It's about building wealth that allows you to live a life of abundance and generosity. Think multiple properties, exotic vacations, and the ability to support charitable causes close to your heart. So, how much money do you need for fat fire? Well, there's no magic number, as it depends on your definition of living large. But we're talking about a portfolio that's substantially larger than what's needed for traditional fire. Think millions or even tens of millions of dollars. Achieving fat fire typically requires a combination of high income, aggressive saving, and savvy investing. It's not for the faint of heart, but it can be an incredibly rewarding goal for those who are driven and ambitious. While fat fire might seem unattainable for some, it's important to remember that everyone's financial journey is unique. What matters most is defining your own version of financial freedom and creating a plan to achieve it. Outro Find Your Fire, thanks for watching. We've covered a lot of ground today from the frugality of lean fire to the extravagance of fat fire. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to financial independence. The best path for you depends on your values, goals, and risk tolerance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content on financial independence and early retirement. See you next time.